J.P. Guilford, was born on 7 March, 1897 in Marquette, Nebraska. His interest in individual differences started from his childhood, when he observed the differences in ability among the members of his own family. Guilford believed that intelligence was not a monolithic, global attribute, but, a combination of multiple abilities, which were relatively independent. Guilford rejected, Charles Spearman's view, that intelligence could be, characterized by a single numerical parameter, general intelligence factor or, G. He also rejected, broad factor groups like that of Thurston's primary abilities. According to Guilford, intelligence consists of numerous intellectual abilities. By the 1950s, Guilford, felt there needed to be a system, developed to classify the new mental abilities being discovered. In 1956, the first version of the structure of intellect model was presented. The structure of intellect defines, intelligence, as a systematic collection of abilities, or functions, for processing different kinds of, items of information, in various ways. In Guilford's structure of intellect theory, intelligence is viewed as comprising, operations, contents, and products. There are five kinds of contents, visual, auditory, symbolic, semantic and behavioral. Five kinds of operations as, cognition, memory, divergent production, convergent production and evaluation. And five kinds of products as, units, classes, relations, systems, transformations, and implications. This dimension includes, the broad areas of information, in which operations are applied. It has been divided into, five categories, visual, information arising from stimulation on the retina in the form of an image, auditory, information arising from stimulation of the cochlea of the ear as image, symbolic, information perceived as symbols or signs that have no meaning by themselves, for example, Arabic numerals or the letters of an alphabet, semantic, information perceived in words or sentences, whether oral, written, or silently in one's mind, behavioral, information perceived as acts of an individual or individuals. This consists of five kinds of operation or general intellectual processes, cognition, the ability to understand, comprehend, discover, and become aware, memory, the ability to memorize information, divergent production, the process of generating multiple solutions to a problem, convergent production, the process of deducing a single solution to a problem, evaluation, the process of judging whether an answer is accurate, consistent, or valid. As the name suggests, this dimension contains results of applying particular operations to specific contents. There are six kinds of products, they are, unit, represents a single item of information, class, a set of items that share some attributes, relation, represents a connection between items or variables, may be linked as opposites, or in associations, sequences, or analogies, system, an organization of items or networks with interacting parts, transformation, changes perspectives, conversions, or mutations to knowledge, such as reversing the order of letters in a word, implication, predictions, inferences, consequences, or anticipations of knowledge. Some examples may provide a feel for the kinds of distinctions made in this model. Suppose a subject is given a long list of unrelated words to study and is asked to recall them later. The content of this scale is semantic, since it involves words, the operation is memory, and the product is the recall of words as units. Thanks for watching.